Friday night baseball now from the Lone Star State and Minute Maid Park in Houston. Tonight, the first of this three game week. Fernando Gonzalez is on the mound for Houston in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Wow, talk about a dominant performance in his last start. Struck out 20 batters. Let's hope he brings that same stuff with him because we might see a lot more K's in this one. And, fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Temperature at first pitch. There it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Next up for the A's, Robert Poisson. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. What an awesome matchup we got right here. The game has certainly gone young in recent years, and here's two of the great young superstars in our sport fighting not only in this moment, but probably for rookie of the year contention. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Matt Olson is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And it's fouled away. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Popped him up. Bregman has room in foul territory. And he makes the play to end the inning. Strikeout. So speed. not much. Damn it, I forgot to press Y. Nice. Good job. Striding in for Oakland, Ramon Laureano. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. God, that's Just not a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 2. That way. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Oh, and he misses shit. there, 1 and 2. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Ah, and the screwball got him swinging one gun. Next up, Seth Brown. Now here's the first offering. Seth Brown. 0 1 the count. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Swings through it for strike number two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Now the pitch. Fouled off. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Lofted in the air out oh, toward shit. right center. You did not fucking hit that. Tucker will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So now the A's designated hitter, Jonathan Scope. In there, 0 and 1. <laughs> And it's 0-2 to scope. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jonathan Scope becomes the first out of the inning. Matt Chapman is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. 0-1 pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. 0-2. Hey, I get it. You want to be aggressive, but man, these guys are swinging at everything. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Alvarez is underneath this God one. Damn it. And there's the second out of the inning. Oh. 
set to get his evening at the plate started. Andrew Susak trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. No balls in one strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. One, two, three, go the A's. Home half of the third coming up. No. Still no one. All set for the start of the fourth, and striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Behind 0-2 now. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Robert Poisson will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Now here's the first offering. Matt Olson will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. One ball, one strike, the count. Something. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Ramon Laureano. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. And it's quickly 0 2. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Hard hit ball to second. And mm -hmm. there's the first hit of the game oh for the A's. God. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0 2 2 0, he's locked. He has great bat to ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack of zero, being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Loriano gets his lead at first, nobody out. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Not a bad God pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Jonathan Scope is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. The eight. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. 
just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle Ooh, of the plate early. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. And stepping in, Andrew Susak struck out in his last trip to the plate. In there for strike one. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Six pitches, two strikeouts in the inning. Hard to beat that, and beyond that, he has to feel good about the way the curveball is coming out of his hand. That was a nasty-looking pitch. Lee will put this one away, and his side is retired. Gaze. Now it'll be Robert Poisson. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And he fouls this one off. Comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed 0 and 2. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's veal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The first baseman. Matt Olson comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to 1 and 1. Now here's the pitch. A ball and two strikes now. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ballgame. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Ramon Laureano is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Now a ball rolls softly to second over to first, and that retires the side. Ready to begin the eighth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Seth Brown. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Behind 0 2 now. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far, as he's had a whale of a ball game. Next to hit is Nico Holsizer. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 and 1. Nope. Ball one. Two no shot. 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. He didn't get him to offer at that pitch right there, but that big 12 to 6 curveball is definitely part of the reason he's having such good success in this one. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. So that will bring up Jonathan Scope. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. And it's fouled away. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And another foul ball. The next 0 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. They're gone in order. Kendall Graveman comes on from oh, the pen, shit. hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Wow, another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this. Town Houston, Texas on a Saturday night in Minute Maid Park. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Oak. Joe Musgrove, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, a dive and oh, he can't I'm hang there. on. 
And we'll just oh, leave it there shot. as they make the play Are you to fucking kidding me? Now the Astros designated hitter, Fernando Gonzalez. He bounced out last time up. Gonzalez. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And he'll make it back to first as the throw won't get him. So the Houston lineup turns over, and to the plate, Miles Straw. He got under one and popped out his last time up. And late reactions, and they got him. Stepping up is Fernando Gonzalez. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. Gamel is on his way home. And the throw in gets away from him. And the second run will come across as well. So they're on the board at least. It's six to two now. So next to hit is Fernando Gonzalez. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. And the tying run is going to score from second. And we are right back to where we started. You know, Dero, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI. Got it done. A tight one, seven to six, the final score tonight. The Strohs used a three-run ninth to help propel them to the win. Jimmy Nelson gets to the year 2000. We're live inside. Luis Garcia, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, in his last start, he picked up his ninth win of the season. It's always nice to get into double digits, and nothing he'd like to do more than to pitch well in this one and pick up his tenth victory of the year. Bregman over to his left, but it's the shortstop that gets there. And at the plate now is Fernando Gonzalez. We're past the All-Star break, well into the back half of the season, and he's having a sensational year, really tearing it up on both the mound and in the field. I mean, he's in rare territory. I couldn't have said it any better, Matty. He's performing at a superstar level on both sides of the ball. It's just crazy. No matter what day you come to the yard, there's a great chance this boy's going to show out. So next to bat will be Alex Bregman. His career numbers against this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. Gonzalez on at first, nobody out. Hit back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first, and there are two on to start the inning now. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. Two hits and eight tries for the series. The 0-1 pitch. Hot shot to third. A tag for one. Relay to Olsen and they turn the double play. What do I do about that? Leading off to Olsen. The second baseman. Then four. Grounded to short. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate. Robert Poisson, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Two, three, go the other. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the first-year shortstop, Fernando Gonzalez. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing, and he puts a charge yeah, into this one. High and deep, and you can 
Forget about it. This ball is gone. Up the foul pole. A solo shot down the line in right, and even 30 home runs on the year, and the Astros take a one to nothing lead. Well, there's nothing that makes you feel as helpless as a ball like this. The pitcher and the right fielder were wishing and hoping it would hook foul right of the pole, but no such luck. Digging in, the switch hitter, Fernando Gonzalez, runner in scoring position with Sujan. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Line drive, fair ball down the line. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Next up is Alex Bregman. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Hit to third. Chapman's got it. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Next to dig in, Fernando Gonzalez. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Armenteros is there to put it away for route number one. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. No hits to this point. The 2 1. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up. And quickly, there are two away. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Weak rounder back to the mound. There's one. Back to first and a costly at bat there as the possible tying run is erased on the double play. And this amazing streak just keeps rolling and rolling along. They've now tied the 2002.